Hey everybody and welcome to part 15 of Ratchet and Clank going or up your arsenal. So we got the Annihilator in the end of the last episode. Apparently it's a two shot kill on these guys. And levels up really slowly. Apparently misses lots. That's gonna be great. Oh, we also got the bolt grabber. Anyways, here's Captain Quark. Wait, can I get those boxes? Oh, I can. Yes, I want as much money as possible because we sold everything. Or bought everything. I thought we agreed to put that jungle business behind us. It was mating season. How could I have known she was your sister? Uh, <laughs> uh, how long have you two been standing there? Too long. Well, <clears throat> stop lollygagging and let's get to work. We'll use this shuttle to infiltrate the Star Cruiser undetected. Once on board, we find Nefarious and finish the job. Are you fellas ready? I guess so. Let's go. Cheesy loading screen. Hey, what are you doing? Move over. I'll drive. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather make it there in one piece. Stand down, soldier. This is your captain speaking. Captain, my. Oh. 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 Wait. No, don't sit on the flight stick. Ah. <laughs> it's too quiet. I don't like it. Once again, my brilliant plan has got the enemy completely unaware. <laughs> Message received. What's that, Clank? Nothing. We'll have to split up and search the ship. Just remember, Nefarious is mine. Unless we get to him first. Come on, Clank. Let's get some payback for Skid. Oh, Lord, that is a lot of enemies. So, yeah, let's use the storm. We're bringing the storm. Literally, we're bringing the storm to them. Can, can that one enemy just die already? Like, I don't care about dying and all, because there's a lot of shots. But... You guys like actually start to die. Oh, and apparently I was continuing to shoot after I died. So that's that's funny. Okay, you know what? No, we're not gonna be able to use that there very well. Alright. Oh my lord. Like this thing has really bad range. It's a good weapon, just very bad range. There we go. I believe you can actually destroy these ships. Maybe? Yeah, you actually have to physically hit them, though. They're not destroyed with your bolt grabber. Not like boxes are. Like that. Well, it's called Bolt Grabber V2 because I believe you saw, like, the upgraded bolt grabber or something from V1, or from, like, Going Commando, where you actually just pick up bolts from further away. I wanted to upgrade the storm. God, we still have like what? 150,000 bolts to go before we can get the next weapon. Like I know it's the only one in the shop, but come on, man. I want to get it. It's good. It's actually really good here because it pretty much kills these guys like nothing. And there we go, V5. And it's just called the N the N90 Hurricane. really great weapon to have on hand. But, we no longer need to use it, so let's try the Annihilator. Man, does he have like explosive damage in this game, like, hurts enemies to the side of them? Well, that kinda sucks. This one shots these ninjas. Can you actually... Can you actually hit the enemy up there? Thank you. I don't get what was so hard about that. Okay, Lava Gun V3. How much damage do you do to these guys? Eh, decent damage, I guess. But you're a constant stream of damage, so you do work out a little differently. I believe we can also get the, um... Well, what you call it in this game? The... Bouncer? Yeah, the Bouncer is the gun I'm thinking of. That's really good. And you're dead. Now let me collect all the spoils of war. Wait, there were no platinum or titanium bolts in here, were there? Why do I keep saying platinum? Platinum bolts are only in one game. They're all gold bolts, platinum bolts, or hero bolts in the other games. That's actually a lot of bolts to think of. Or to memorize collecting. Come in, gentlemen. We 
We've been expecting you. The riffraff have arrived, sir. Captain Quark. You put on a bit of weight since last we met. Yeah, well, Courtney Gears didn't seem to mind. <laughs> That's what makes it so good, Janice. Feel it. My heart is pounding like an anvil. Oh, this is the best part of my day. you here so I can witness your demise. <laughs> Auto destruct sequence initiated. Prepare to die. <laughs> Lawrence, teleport us out of here. Of course. Lawrence? This isn't funny, Lawrence! Well, oh shit, we gotta go. What are you waiting for? This ship could explode any second. I think I spotted something important. I can't leave without it. I'll meet you back at the shuttle. Well, we have a minute to leave. Huh, there's even more bolts in here. That's kind of interesting. Oh, might as well collect them all. Thank you. God, I love how the ninjas just die like they're nothing. But guys, this is my ship in here. Please get out of the way. Fire me. Come on, Quark. Hurry up. We must leave now. <laughs> Not without Quark. He would have waited for us. I think. Good for him. Wait! Well, I wonder if we're going back to the Phoenix now. Clank, why did you kill off Quark? God damn it, Clank, you're not you're not seeming like a very good guy at this point in time. Man, no skill points for a while in this game. Starship Phoenix. Why do I always say that? We always go back here. It's not anything new. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, we are all very glad that you made it back safely. Did you detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. <laughs> And we would frolic in the fitness course under the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Captain Quark had so many uh, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with uh, kind of a sort of a well you know a butt shape uh, uh well you know I, I think i've droned on long enough i just heard what happened i wanted to offer my condolences to the team quark's loss is a true tragedy the man was a hero brave honest kind and humble to the core <laughs> what a load of bullshit captain quark may be gone but his indomitable spirit of heroism lives on in each of you I know the Q-Force will make our fallen captain proud. Carry on, men. The fifth came in the mail for Quark. <laughs> it's chapter four of the Quark Vid comic series. <laughs> he wants you to have it. Thanks, Al. You know, this could give us a clue about what Nefarious is going to do next. Well, looks like we got to go play some games in our quarters. Dude, you, you know that already. You gave it to us. Anyways, let's do chapter three, or issue three, Shadow of the Robot. Woo. I knew I was behind one in this game, but I never like to come back after that and just do it. 
It's just so out of the way, you know? What about the funny announcer guy again, or if it's gonna be Quark in this bit comic? Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination. A secret robotic laboratory on planet Magnus. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody die pizza? Quark's plan was flawless, but unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, robot man. Dude, you don't need to keep... Why does it... Why does it keep giving you information that we already know? Like, it seems pointless to keep telling us the exact same thing. Wait a minute, I know there's something down here. Well, there's this level's health upgrade. That seemed a little, uh... A little easy to get, and I was just looking for stuff, but in doing so, I took damage, and now you can't break those little, uh... Orb things. Death balls. Kinda remind me of Raps in Black Ops 3, though this game came first, so... More like... the uh, Raps remind me of these. Though I honestly didn't remember these things. We got a purple blaster this time, I just realized that. Oh, come on, there was no... Oh, well, these these guys are not being nice this time. Okay, it takes three hits from the blaster to kill them. Oh, okay. Wait, these things only take one hit to kill. Why was I wasting ammo then? Boink. Boink. This is your trap? It doesn't really feel like much of a trap if I'm the one winning. God, die. Thank you. Ah, there was a 10 up there. Ow, it doesn't seem like we're picking up very much ammo. Or, not ammo. Um, very many tokens in this level. I want to check, though, to see if there's anything up there. Or, okay, fine. Apparently I can't go back up there and check because he won't grab onto the ledge. That's a really easy free 10 to get, you know? Dude, that is unfair. His positioning was bull. Oh, okay, damn, We're gonna die. Betcha we have to redo the entire level over if we die, though. Oh, that guy died. Oh, you're, you're holding a 10. I want that. Oh, yeah, this... Oh, wait, I thought, I thought one of these platforms could eventually crush you to death. But apparently not. I don't believe this... Or these level... Or this level, I believe, doesn't have, like, a boss or anything in it. Oh, there's the last one. Yay! Nope, this one doesn't have a boss in it. Perfect! So now we just have to do the other one. Good thing, because we were down to one health. It would have been terrible if we would have died. But I hear some more bolts for us. Ooh, this one's worth a lot of bolts. What, 20,000? <laughs> 20,000 bolts in our pocket. Beautiful. Absolutely magnificent. No one can resist money. It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known. You're no match for the likes of me. <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class. Uh, I always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. 
Remember how I used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid hog! I was always big for my age. You were 26! Say, how about a wedgie for old time's sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Ah, Captain Quark caused it all! So anyways, let's go on to Deja Q all over again. I hate how the picture always looks like the, the pirate one. Very uncreative. Episode 4. Deja Q. All over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice, I am Engelbert. Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby. Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt. You have plumped up like a giant green breakfast! <laughs> it is time for the fitness course! Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis... The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark! <laughs> Okay, well now we're here in Metropolis. His derpy face. He's like, I'm so derpy. I'm so derpy. That's a wall. It's an invisible wall. Why does he look so? Why does he look more derpy than normal? Why are these with cues? Because they pop out on cue. I don't know. I mean, you can't jump off of the the zip line. You can only wait patiently. This is probably the hardest level when it comes to getting the. Uh, Time challenge done for the skill point. It's extremely annoying to deal with. In my personal opinion. No, exactly why would there be a bouncy wall there? I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's Whoa. For some reason he wouldn't grab onto the wall. Luckily for us, he did. Whoa. Almost mistimed that. Love the background of Metropolis, though. If you guys played the first game, you guys know Metropolis. Like I said, a lot of planets return in this game. Because you are in the same galaxy. I don't know how many solar systems there are in this game, though, or if they are all in different solar systems. How do these things work again? Oh, I remember. Just press up or down. Just press up or down. I don't think there's anything down there. Just don't want to miss out on anything, you know? We're only a quarter of the way done collecting all the tokens. So, let's see. Oh, we got some enemies here. Some bugs. Robo bugs. Oh, dude, instead of... Why instead of hitting it did he actually just take... God damn, I almost missed that up there. See, like, things blend in here, you know? Not to mention, you're also dealing with enemies that are constantly exploding when you kill them. I think they're leaving. Bye, enemies. See you later. Man, he is like the best ladder climbing in any of these games that I've played in like a long time. Now for these, just blow them up. There we go. Ooh, there's a tent up there. We need to get that. <laughs> Alright, come on down. And don't burn me with your fire attack. Yep, there's the fire attack. And they just all die at the same time. Well, at least these things give you ammo again. 
I'm really hoping we didn't miss any. This is like the easiest one to miss stuff on. If I do remember. Correctly, at least. So I could be remembering it different than it is correct. Like, I guess you don't need to kill these guys. I guess is why the 10's down here. Did you just die? Eh. Thank you. Can you get your bug ass down here? I hate that you have to, like, patiently wait for it to come back down. Because it was going so smooth, and it's like, er, nope. Bye-bye. Thank you, let me in. I really hope I didn't miss any. We're only at 73. Well, 74 now. Really? Oh, I didn't know you could hit me there. Okay, I guess I hit them too close together. Oh. Ow, come on. That was unfair, man. Darn, Engelbert. Bink, bink. Yeah. Oh, man. Gotta hate when I miss like that. Now, I believe, with all due respect, there is something over here. Yeah, this is where the health upgrade is. That one's a little tricky to get. In the remake, though, or, well, the remaster, they did fix it up a little bit. Apart from being so annoying to get... In Damn it, I couldn't jump in time for some reason. I know it's my fault, guys, but come on. You guys know me. Oh, come on! It was like death or death. Now, there's going to be a doorway. Yep, we missed a 10 somewhere. Now, where is this 10? Hmm. Where did it go? God damn it, I hate when I do this. God, I absolutely hate this level for that reason. See what I mean? I always miss a 10. Ay -ay -ay. See nothing down here. Unless I can break... There's like no breakable walls or anything. I have a feeling I missed one in that whole bus part. The hover bus. Oh well, let's go in here. Okay, you and your corny music. Ow! You dick! Come on, attack me, I dare you. Yeah. Yeah, that attack does, like, nothing to him. There we go, now he'll do, like, a... Uh... Oh, never mind. He's not doing the, the ground wave attack. Oh, come on, that was a dick move there, Nefarious. Apparently you can go through the actual wave itself, but... Oh. And there we go, Nefarious is dead, and I can't believe I missed 10. God darned it. Well, we still made 7,200. We would got, got we would have got a lot more if we actually got 100. percent Sorry, what's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis. To its knees! Uh huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But. Uh, seems the script is missing a few pages. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as uh, 
addicted drug doctor nefarious. Corniness. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. It does make complete sense. Downloaded coordinates for Metropolis Curve on one. I don't see why we why would we why we why we, why we would need that because we've been there before. Anyways, let's see what the armor is. Two hundred fifty thousand. Aegis Mark V armor. The Aegis uh, Mark V represents a major breakthrough in armor technology. The suit combines adamantine plates with a web of integrated force fields and a sophisticated onboard computer system. All suits built-in AI responds automatically to attack, distributing power and angling armor plates to absorb up to 66% of oncoming damage. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be continuing to Planet Metropolis and... You know, dealing with some awesomeness there, and I really wish we could get free stuff, but that frogman will not give us free stuff. See you guys next time! Peace out!